What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at cards of some of the most exciting players in the NBA like LeBron James, Steph Curry, there's a PSA 10 Luka Doncic card. We're also going to be looking at this Michael Jordan metal collector's tin and there's even a $700 PSA graded Michael Jordan card. So make sure you stick around to see who all these guys are. But before we get into that, let's check out this fire background. In the middle, all three of these cards are Jalen Noel. This one in the middle is a Noir Rookie Jumbo Materials patch numbered out of 10. Noel had a career high 28 points on Thursday, adding in five rebounds, six assists, a steal, a block, and six threes. Went off. Malik Beasley suspended, so he's been getting a little bit of extra run. We'll have to see if he can keep that up. I picked that card up for around $6 last year. I couldn't find any comps of sales for it because it's numbered out of 10, but I did see one listed for about $50 now. I don't think that's you know a great price to pay for it, but if you can get something you know that looks this nice for in the low teens, I think it's a great deal. Over here, this is a Jalen Noel Revolution base. This card is only $1, and the parallels of these revolutions go for like two dollars three dollars so look out for that chinese new year one i think it's a great great looking card especially these revolution base the way they shine are so nice over here we have more jalen noel this is an orange cracked ice sensational swatch prism insert it's a 2019 all of these are rookie cards this is one of my favorite looking cards you can get it for around five dollars so it's a great looking card for a great price Love that white patch on there. We have several of these orange cracked eyes. They look so good. Over here to the left, we have our Kevin Durant Prism Base Chronicles update. Durant was out again on Thursday with a hamstring injury. He has no timetable for a return, but his prices are rock bottom for this card. It's, it's a first year Nets Kevin Durant card. It's the one to get, in my opinion, if you're looking for a card like that. So boom, Kevin Durant. Over here on the right, we have the same equivalent Chronicles update card, but for Anthony Davis in the Lakers first year jersey. This card can be had for under $10 as well. He's recovering from a calf strain on February 19th. They said it would be four weeks until he would, he'll return. And so today, Friday versus the Pacers makes it three weeks. So hopefully we'll get an update on Anthony Davis's injury status today. So with that fire background, let's get in to these guys. And before we get into this tin, I'm really excited about it, but let's do the plain white envelope first, because that's always the lowest end card. So let's get that one out of the way. And this one was picked up by Cliff for $8. Nice. So Michael Jordan. So this, so eight bucks for two of these. These are Fleer Ultra 1996 Michael Jordan cards. Inexpensive MJ cards. I love the way that hollow signature looks over there. Actually, no, it's not a signature. It says Ultra. So those, these are the Fleer. You can see the Fleer Ultra hollow logo right there. Classic MJ cards that Cliff is picking up. Cliff lives in Australia and he sends his cards to me. I consolidate them and send them to him in Australia. Let's check out this tin. So it's a Michael Jordan five all metal collector's cards and Cliff picked this up for only $10 guys. So 10 bucks for this. Let's see what's inside. So these are metal cards. There's supposed to be five in here. Nice. These are actually for $10. This is a really cool Michael Jordan kind of a vintage classic collector's item these are really really nice i'd imagine they're pretty rare I'll, i'm gonna try and find some for myself actually because for 10 bucks it's a really great deal maybe at the dallas card show this weekend beautiful they're heavy they're metal i think there's one more in here show it show it to you like that so I can get these back in, but boom, 
Metal cards on the channel is a first time for everything. Put that back in there and I will put this over here. Put MJ over there and let's move on into these guys. We'll cruise through these, we'll cruise through these today. Nice, Steph Curry PSA 10 Hollow. So this is an optic insert. It's called a T minus three, two, one. I have a few of these raw and, the, and they're pretty inexpensive. I don't know what they go for now, but this optic hollow, which was picked up by Cliff, goes for $46. That's what Cliff paid. I'll put the price up there like I always do. The Warriors got blown out by the Clippers uh, on Thursday. So Steph actually sat early. He was looking really frustrated on the bench, had 14 points, six of 16 shooting. So not the greatest performance by the Warriors, but I really like the way this card looks and shines. The design is really nice. Don't love the back that much, but it's a nice graded Steph Curry card for under 50 bucks. Boom, it's a 2019. Let's get into this. LeBron Braun, another optic. So this is a 2017 LeBron optic, PSA 10. Love, love the way this card looks. These op this optic design is really, really nice looking. So Cliff picked this card up for $51. So another $50 optic card, not rookie cards, neither of the last two. Uh, LeBron is actually probable for Friday. And, but he's, he's actually been probable all season, pretty much. They're, pl they're playing the Pacers, uh, but he should play. He's been probable all season, but I don't think he's missed any games except for that one right before the All-Star break, which I believe he was uh, resting. So boom, LeBron James, let's move on to this guy. Let's see what it is. Steph Curry, this is a sweet looking card. So this is a 2019-20 Court Kings points in the paint. Steph Curry insert. So this card, Cliff only paid $10.50 for. Steph, as we said, didn't have a great game in his last game on Thursday, but hopefully he'll bounce back. He's having an amazing season. If the Warriors were a little higher up in the standings, he would definitely be in the MVP conversation. I think he's averaging five threes a game, but this is a pretty nice looking card, and it's the first time I'm seeing one of these in person, so boom, Steph Curry. Let's move on to this pile. These piles are so high, I've got shadows in the videos lately. Boom! Luka Doncic, PSA 10, my house. So this is an optic insert. Love these cards. This is the second year Luka Doncic card. I have a couple of these as well, but really like these my house cards. And this one actually looks kind of transparent. Oh, this is a clearly Donruss one. I don't have some of these. Really cool. This is actually the first time I'm seeing this clearly Donruss. I'm not sure how much the raw one goes, but Cliff paid $150, so $147 for this PSA 10. Luca actually sat out on Thursday with a right ankle injury, which is a new injury to him. So they lost to the Spurs, um, not by too much, but they still lost to the Spurs. Hopefully it's not a long-term thing and he can bounce back and he can play, but he's having a really good season. Hopefully the Mavs just keep getting better and better. They're starting to pick up things. They had a really bad start, but let's see what they can do. But clearly Donruss, this looks really cool. Boom, Luka Doncic, PSA 10. Not even sure where to put this. Put it right here and get in to this one. Well, this is something different. Tops now. Let's open this up and see what Cliff got. Ooh. Boom. 
Michael Jordan. This is a Fleer Ultra. This is a 96, 97 decade of excellence. Excellence, Michael Jordan in that classic design. I think this is the one that uh, Cliff may want graded. So we're gonna check out the condition and then see if it can get graded. But it, it's in really, really good condition from, you know, just by eyeballing it. So $51 for this card, really, really nice looking. I think it's a great, great, great. It's gonna look so good in a slab. I don't know what else to say, but boom, Michael Jordan. Cliff picking up the fire today. Put this one right there. How's that? And get in to this guy. Making an appearance right before the Dallas Card Show. My guy, Dirk Nowitzki. This is a Silver Script 2000 Upper Deck MVP PSA 10. This card was $90, and I believe it's a Population 1 in the PSA 10. So a beautiful looking Dirk card. There's a signature on it right there. I think that's part of the design, but really nice may not even be his signature i can't can't really tell but really nice looking card and to get any kind of card that's a, just to be able to say it's a pop one you know it's probably a pop one because it wasn't that popular but still cool to have a pop one dirk nowitzki i know a lot of guys in dallas would appreciate that but i don't want to hide lebron so we'll put LeBron in front like that and get in to this guy. Been really looking forward to seeing what this card looks like because it was $700, guys. $700. Boom! Michael Jordan! This card was $700. 1997 Topps Rockstars. PSA 9, imagine how much the 10 goes for. So this is a die cut. This ha uh, The Rockstars cards, we saw one on this channel. We saw Kevin Garnett on this channel once before, but a sweet looking classic Michael Jordan card. Really love the way this, this bad boy looks. Man, Cliff is really picking up some fire for $700. So 97, 98. Michael Jordan cards, all the, they were all the rage last year with the documentary. They've leveled out just a little bit, but with different catalysts coming up, you never know, you know what's going to happen. So I don't necessarily recommend paying $700 for one, but to get some of these, you know, these raw ones for four bucks each, I think that's a, that's a great price. And to just have you know, the GOAT Michael Jordan in your collection is pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please destroy that like button. It really would mean the world to me. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.